to Inside Ambition. I'm Liv Jones, and today on COVID Stories, we're interviewing Grace Hayden. Grace is a freshman living on campus this fall. Hi, Grace, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, so I guess we're gonna, we can start out with, um, why did you end up deciding to live on campus this fall? So this fall, I really wanted to be in Philly because all of my close friends from home were allowed to go to their big Southern schools. So that was a lot to just know that I would be at home alone and also doing school. So I just appealed housing for race with my explanation for why. And luckily I got my appeal. And so now I'm in Philly and it's a great time here. Yeah, so can you tell me um, a little bit about what your experience has been like living in race? So do you have a any sort of relationship with the RA in race? I've actually met her a few times. I think it's because we're all on like very different and crazy schedules right now. But I definitely want to like meet with her more. Um, but they do a lot to like make us feel included and at home here. They put like little snacks on your door and they say like how are we doing with little QR code scans where we can fill out surveys and we have a group meet to talk to them if we ever need them. Yeah, that sounds very helpful. Very similar to how uh, my RA was last year, so it's good to see some normalcy. Yeah. No. Um, so I know Drexel hosted um, Welcome Week virtually this year. Did you end up attending any of those events? I did. I attended ones on just how to accommodate yourself to Drexel Learn, just so I wasn't fully going in blindly and our political science program had like a three hour orientation which was part of welcome week but they, i knew that there were like trivia nights but i just never got around to going to them but they seemed really fun and like inclusive to all sorts of um like desires people had like there was um i know there was a drag night trivia which seemed so cool to go to i just like i forgot about it so but i wish i went to that yeah, but those seemed fairly normal and fairly comfortable, ones you yes. went to anyway. Yes. That's good. So then I guess, how do you feel that the experience you're getting living on campus this fall um, is going to differ from that of your classmates who decided to stay home when they started college? So it's definitely different because I'm assuming that they're still with their families and that sort of thing. So living alone is definitely different and without a roommate because a lot of my friends did get to come to campus still are in places like Summit or Chestnut Square, so they still have a roommate. So living alone here has definitely been different because there's no longer like a support system that you can just immediately go to if you need anything. You just have yourself and you can be very independent to live alone like this. And you have to time manage very well because there's no one just down your neck making sure you're getting your work done. So it's definitely different. It's definitely forcing me to grow up a lot, but I think I needed that. And this year has been so much change and growth. And I just am happy that I'm keeping with that pace by changing, having such a big life change as living alone in a dorm in college that is online. <laughs> so it sounds like you feel like it was good timing for you in the midst of COVID. Everything's kind of craziness to add a little more craziness to that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, it seems like you're having a pretty decent experience for starters. Is there anything that um, has been particularly difficult um, moving into college during COVID or dealing with classes on your own or anything like that? Um, I guess the most difficult thing for me is knowing when to like allow myself to stop working because for me, my bedroom at home was always like the workspace. And I know some people think like you need a separate space for those two things, but for sleep and work, but mine was always, my bedroom was where I did my homework and I was always successful at doing that. So now I'll stay in my room from like 10 to seven. And I won't even realize that I have it 
Croatia and meeting more people. And I just joined the sorority, so now I have those sisters to just call and say, hey, can we go get coffee at Saxby's because they're open? Or can we just take a walk somewhere? Like, I need human interaction, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's definitely a good community to have, and getting involved in things like that is very helpful, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for talking with us today. It was very insightful, and I'm sure um, all of our people that, who are doing college at home are interested to see how it's going. Yeah, of course. Thank you for having me. If you want to see more COVID stories just like Grace's, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And make sure that you're following our Instagram, at inside underscore ambition, to keep up to date with all of our content. Thank you guys for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.